bringing you fashion in New England. Taking you behind the scenes of the latest shows. And bringing you New England's finest fashion insiders. This is Style It Up. Hello and welcome to Style It Up, where we take you inside the fashion world of New England. I'm your host, Althea Blackford, and we have a great show for you today, so let's get started. We're always busy checking out fashion events for you, and we have a special fashion news for you. We are recapping this year's Boston Fashion Week shows. Let's find out which events we attended with our fashion news. Boston sparkled from September 27th to October 5th due to the glamorous events dotting the city during Boston Fashion Week 2013. The favorite consignment shop of fashionistas second time around celebrated their 40th anniversary at their Newbury Street location. To showcase the previously loved clothing, four local talents each styled a model with items from the shop. Christina K. Pierce, Alex Hall of Coop Boston, designer Tonya Mesrich, and Sean Williams Donovan of Circle Furniture created looks from fierce to fabulous for the event. Attendees enjoyed snacks from Treat and Unreal Candy and makeovers from Benefit Cosmetics. The night ended with a speech from President Bill Sconcini and founder Dottie Kassler, who said it all started when she had two fur coats to get rid of. Candice Will Couture and House of Catch teamed up once again to create a fantastic installation at the W Boston. Wu says the entire collection was created from beginning to end with House of Catch, including the concept of insects. The inspiration was present in every look in a different way. One pale gown featured black ribbing that looked almost skeletal and a dramatic antennae-like fascinator. Some pieces used bones, skulls, and claws from insects, while others used jeweled items that transformed the model into an insect herself. Like the grasshopper mask, one model wore with a slinky black gown with dangerous cutouts. From Creepy to Couture, this show had everything. Trust in Trisha's Trisha Cromwell updated the old-fashioned clothing swap for 2013 at her event, Style Swap. Fashionistas surveyed lightly used high-end garments as the closet queen herself would choose at killer prices. Part of the proceeds went to Project Hope, a charity that provides low-income women and children with education, jobs, and housing. Even better, all of the leftover unpurchased items went straight to a pop-up shop in one of the Project Hope headquarters. The Emerald Lounge became a hub of fashion when Christina Pierce descended on it with D'Andrea handbags, Stefani, and the launch by Susan Young in tow. Attendees got to browse Nicole D'Andrea's Mr. Collection with names like Mr. Arrogant, Mr. Precarious, and Mr. Heartthrob. All of the bags were named after ex-boyfriends and made for some very trendy revenge. The Stefani Collection offered answers to the question, what do I wear between seasons? while the launch had attendees planning tropical vacations for an excuse to wear her fun, summery clothes. The Union Club proved to be the perfect backdrop to the chic and elegant designs of Luke Aaron. With Boston and its history inspiring Aaron's designs, it was sure to be a hit. Unique designs like his white double-breasted jacket gown stunned the audience. More casual designs, including perfectly tailored crop pants and jackets, were a ready-to-wear dream. Aaron's designs are interesting and forward-thinking, and yet still so beautifully classic. The Fashion Bazaar was the place to shop on October 6th on Newbury Street. Designer Natalie Therese displayed her perfectly simple handbags and clutches. Scoochbox offered up handmade all-natural soaps and scrubs at one table, and Joyarte showed off beautiful jewelry at the next. Eugene Kim Nealon's table was full of inspiration, from her uni t-shirts to adorable greeting cards. The same magnifique show celebrated curvy women in all of their glory. Design houses like Fly Girl Couture, Revolt 1991, Belay Ware, Carlene Lindsay Designs, and La Accent Women's Fashion showcased plus-size models wearing fabulous and flattering fashion. The show was put on by Say Magnifique CEO and founder, Shen Bennett. Boston Fashion Week 2013 gave us plenty of gorgeous designs to hold us over until next year. For Style It Up, this is Emmy LaCroix. We're always working hard to bring you the latest news. Coming up, we meet jewelry designer Jacqueline Ortega of Ortega Jewelry Designs. We learn about how she creates each of her pieces and the meaning behind them. Don't go anywhere. Keep it here on Style It Up. Up, college is hard, down, those books are heavy. My sport is football, but my passion is education. Right up here. So every year I take promising high schoolers on a college tour to show them that higher education means a brighter future. My name is Namdi Asamoah. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. You can be a reader, tutor, or mentor too. Take the pledge at liveunited.org volunteer. 
Do you wear this? So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Welcome back to Style It Up. I'm your host, Althea Blackford. Are you looking for a great fashion event to attend? Here's what's going on in your part of town. bringing you the latest events that are happening in the fashion community. If you have an event or know an event that you would love for us to check out, send us an email at styleitup411 at hotmail.com with fashion event in the subject line. Let us know what your event is about. We will love to attend and bring all our viewers the latest scoop. We have more Boston Fashion Week goodies for you as well too. This time we actually have footage from the various shows we attended. Enjoy our highlights. My name is Carlos Villamel. My collection is about uh, sustainable fashion and the way I design the garments is using a concept called zero waste design. Uh, so when you use the fabric, you don't waste any part of it. It was, it was obviously a dream that I had about like being in Boston Fashion Week after working for so many years trying to uh, get in, into Fashion Week, but it has been amazing to be able to work with uh, the directors, the organizers, they have been very good at like mentoring us, and organizing us about like how to collaborate, how to create the collection, how to do the photo shoot. So it was a terrific learning experience. I really love the execution of his garments. <laughs> I told him he's very architectural in his in his designs, which I really like. They're different and something that is really fun to wear. Sasha Thomas, inspired by the aftermath of the end of the world as we know it. No technology, you have to go back to living off of nature, and that's why I use the Thomas. It tells a story about solitude and decay, but also about hope and beauty surviving that darkness. It's great to be involved with Sasha. She's an awesome designer, very creative, and very talented. Agreed. I love her designs, they're all beautiful. I wish I could take it home with me. <laughs>
watch full length shows and more head over to our website styleitup.net coming up we sit down with jewelry designer Jacqueline Ortega and learn about this emerging designer who is making a name for herself don't go anywhere keep it here on style it up So 
So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. This is Style It Up. Welcome back. She is a true believer in freedom of self-expression. Founded in 2011, Ortega Jewelry Designs is, an, is inspired by the concept that jewelry is an extension of one's personality. The self-taught Boston-based jewelry designers specialize in one-of-a-kind pieces and custom designs. Please welcome Jacqueline Ortega of Ortega Jewelry Designs. Hi, Hi Miss Jackie. How was it before and how is it now? Uh, well, the designs have gotten more intricate. Okay. Yeah, more detailing. Um, I put a lot of hard work into it. Oh, that's good. So where <laughs> do you get your inspiration from when you have your pieces? Um, well, for example, some of these pieces here, I worked with um, designers. Okay. Um, they were specially made to be paired with um, wedding gowns. Oh, wow. So that was kind of my inspiration, and we just kind of threw out some ideas like old Hollywood glamour, and I just kind of stemmed it from there. Nice. Okay. So how long does it take to create a piece? Because I see like a wide range where it can be very simple to very something complex. Yeah, uh, it depends. Okay. Something like these earrings, for example, very, very simple to make, yeah. less than like two minutes. Um, something like this actually would take me more like an hour because it's individually strung beads, so it's very tedious. Okay. And then this is like, yeah, it's about the same thing. Like an hour or two, it's a lot of beadwork um, and detailing in the back as well okay. as the front. Nice, very nice, beautiful. So I know you brought some models to show what it looks like when you have your pieces on someone. So let's bring out our first model and see what yes. she has on. All right. And who do we have here? This is Nicole. Okay. And she's wearing a lovely outfit from Heaven Styles Boutique. Nice. And the jewelry she's wearing is a choker and matching bracelet. Um, faceted glass, beautiful silver earrings are faceted glass as well. Wow! And I just feel like it's really trendy and yeah, like, it's a nice right little poker piece and everything. Yeah, and it goes great with the outfit. Wonderful, very simple, but yet it, it, that has its own yes. statement as well too. Thank you. Yes. All right, and then we have another model. Who do we have here? We have Olivia. And she Wonderful. is wearing a favorite of mine. It's really sparkly. Yes. Um, that is also faceted stones. Mm -hmm. That actually, that took me a while to make. Okay. Um, the the choker, uh -huh. the bracelet, the earrings, probably a maximum of like three to four hours. Wow. And I broke it down like day by day. And I'm like, so it's not hour. like in one sitting you did no, this one piece. No, And I don't even include the designing process either. And that's okay. like a whole, you know, thing in itself too. Do you sketch out your like jewelry designs or you just start playing? Um, some of them I do. Um, this one, for example, I started out with a sketch. Oh, okay. And I knew I was going for something really sparkly. The designer I was working with, she wanted, basically she said she wanted bling bling. So gotcha. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> Um, and I found the pieces and it worked out great. Thank you. Thank you. And one more fabulous look I see you have here. Yes. This is Rosie and she Lovely. is wearing this green stone necklace with Love gold that. detailing. And that one is more something unique. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a combination of like chain work and beading as well. Okay, and what's your favorite in terms of doing it? The chain work or the beading work do you like to do? I like the chain work more. Okay. After a while of stringing beads one by one, it kind of takes a toll on your hands and you yes. do have to take a break. Nice. It's gorgeous on you. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you. All right. So talk, a bit, uh, talk to me about this piece that you have here um, on the mannequin here. Uh, yes. It's very beautiful. Thank you. This is actually made out of Savorsky crystals and pewter. And this is part of the new collection that I just recently created. Nice. And it was showcased at Extrinsic 2 at Daniel Hernandez show. Nice. And wonderful. This is another one that took me quite a bit 
to, to make. <laughs> wow, so is this uh, something that you had to play with or a, a sketch pattern yeah, type thing? Yeah, this one I played with. I okay. had all these little different components and I was explaining to someone because they're like, how do you make this stuff? And mm -hmm. I basically described it as, you know, just buying the components, the pieces, and then placing them together like a puzzle. And I just, you know, play with the pieces and I see, you know, what pleases my eye. Nice. And like the piece that you're wearing, is that you as well too? Yes, yes. And this is um, a favorite of mine. Mm -hmm. All of them are like really favorites. All your babies but... <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But um, this one is very unique because the stones are actually lava stones. Wow. So this is from Do a you volcano. know where? Like, no, or... I wish I did. I try to find as much information as I can about the pieces that I use so I can educate my customers. Okay. Um, but. I don't know exactly what country it came from. All I know is it came from a volcano. It's very nice. I love the <laughs> textures. It's like a very statement-like Yeah, piece and it as well. goes great with this dress. Love that as well, yes. too. Yes. So, who is the Jacqueline Ortega design jewelry customer? Um, who is that lady or that guy? I'd like to say <laughs> it's the strong, independent woman, the distinguished woman, mm -hmm. who goes for distinct jewelry. Nice, nice, yes. nice. So tell us your website where we can see more of this and actually purchase as well, too. Ah, well, you can find my stuff at the Hot House Design Studio, mm -hmm. along with this fabulous dress. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> and also Ortega Jewelry Designs, and also my online Etsy shop, um, Ortega Jewelry. Nice. Well, all right, we're going to have our models come back out one more time for one fabulous look of all these beautiful pieces that we've seen here today. Yes, thank you. Come and on, some of our models on. are um, affiliated with Models Against Bullying, and I'm actually working with them on their campaign. Oh, wonderful. Yes. So if you want to wow. find out more information about that, just go on their Facebook page, Models Against Bullying. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Jackie, for coming on the show and showing, you. sharing all your beautiful jewelry and all the models that are wearing it, it as well. It's a pleasure to be here. Yay! <laughs> well, that's our show. I would like to thank my guest, Jacqueline Ortega of Ortega Jewelry Designs. Be sure to follow us on our social media sites. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Connect with us for all the latest info that only SIU insiders get to know. We always appreciate the love and support. I'll leave you with this quote by Coco Chanel. I like to I like fashion to go down the, um, the street, but I can't accept that it originated from there. I'm Althea Blackford, and I'll see you next time on Style It Up. <laughs>